Hello everyone and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. In this video we're going to be unboxing and reviewing not one but two Drio space heaters that are perfect for your office or gaming setup during the colder months of the year. These heaters are very highly rated on Amazon with a combined 16,000 reviews at an average of 4.5 stars out of 5, but let's see if they really do bring the heat without burning a hole in your pocket. The first heater is called the Solaris Slim H3 and it will set you back about $75 or £80. It comes packed with great features features to warrant its price tag which include various power modes ranging from 900 to 1800 watts, 70 degree oscillation, a low energy eco mode, timer, thermostat and also overheating protection. It stands just over 40 centimeters tall and as far as heaters go I actually think it looks pretty stylish. The box includes a remote, user manual and a fantastic 5 year warranty card as well. The build quality feels very solid whilst remaining practical thanks to the touch buttons on the top of the device and the handle at the back for moving it around. Now the question question is with many countries suffering from the energy crisis, is it more efficient to heat a single room with a space heater rather than relying on central heating to heat the entire house? But I'm no money saving expert and there are hundreds of factors that can affect this, but here in the UK we have a cap of 34 pence per kilowatt hour for electricity. So bearing in mind 1 kilowatt is 1000 watts, then we can say a 1000 watt device running for an hour will cost 34 pence and a 2000 watt device will cost 68 pence. Although if you have gas sent heating it's roughly three times cheaper than electricity per unit so unless you've got an old inefficient boiler and no radiator valves then central heating may still be the way to go but with that in mind it is nice to have various modes ranging from 900 to 1800 watts if you're trying to be as efficient as possible and only heat a small single room as for the heating power itself I can quite honestly say it's brilliant the h1 800 watt h2 1100 watt and the h3 1800 watt modes all have a fantastic heat output whilst remaining reasonably quiet. You also have the ability to control the temperature output manually with the eco mode and also set a timer for the heater to automatically shut off after a certain number of hours. The controls are very straightforward and intuitive allowing you to get to your preferred mode and temperature in just a few taps. There are three main modes built in. You've got your standard heat output which are the H1, 2 and 3 settings I've just mentioned as well as the eco mode and the fan only mode. The eco mode is by far my favourite. You can jump in and set your exact desired room temperature temperature and the heater will work until the target temperature is reached and maintain it accordingly. This can all be monitored by the hidden screen which displays your current mode, temperature and power status. Being as critical as possible, the only negatives I can think of are that there is no way to automatically centre the heater after oscillation, overall it was slightly louder than I was expecting, and also the timer can only be set in hour intervals whereas I think this should be 30 minute increments instead. I will just let you take a listen to the heater in action with various heat settings and with oscillation on to give you an idea of its noise output. Overall I really like the Drio Solaris H3, it's stylish, packed with features and most importantly does its job effectively. Whether or not it works out cheaper than your current home heating solution I simply don't know, but if you are in the market for a direct heating output then this space heater is well worth checking out. But with that said, that's not all Drio has to offer, let me introduce you to the Solaris H3's little brother the Atom 1. This is a small and slightly less powerful heater standing at just over 26 centimeters with a max power output of 1500 watts. The Atom 1 will set you back $50 or £55 but still packs in all of the features of the Solaris Slim H3 but in a compact and in my opinion even more stylish design. The standard power modes run from 900 to 1500 watts but you once again have the eco mode where you can set the temperature anywhere between 5 and 35 degrees celsius for the room temperature and also of course the fan only mode which is available on both units. The standard modes are as follows, H1 has a 900 watt output, H2 has a 1000 watt output and H3 has a 1500 watt output which is very similar to the previous heater. The eco mode has also got the exact same functionality which works fantastically well in the Atom 1 allowing you to pick the exact temperature you want your space heated to. The Atom 1 also has a handy removable dust filter at the back which can be easily cleaned to keep your heater running as efficiently as possible. 
Once again, it's very intuitive to control and has some great safety features which include overheating and tip over protection to help fight against any accidents. The heater reaches its desired temperature in just a few moments and can run as quiet as 37 and a half decibels. Thanks to its small stature, it's much more versatile in where it can be placed and is also extremely easy to move around thanks to the handle on the back of the heater. Whilst I was initially impressed with the design of the first heater, I would take the Atom one in a heartbeat. The stylish compact design, great functionality and safety features combined with a very efficient heat output make this a no-brainer choice if you're in the market for a space heater for your office, bedroom and so on. Which really does prove that after all, size isn't everything. Thank you all so much for watching this video, if you enjoyed it please consider dropping a like or subscribing to the channel if you're new. Thanks again and I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace.